guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it has been a long time. Honestly, I don't even know where the time goes. It just like flies. I have been posting a lot to my second channel. If you guys don't already know, I do have a second channel. It's just Nikki Sky. I'll leave it right over here. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I post a lot of beauty tutorials there and fashion stuff. It's a lot of stuff that I don't post on this channel. So I kind of failed myself because I promised you guys I would be posting more to this channel, but clearly that hasn't happened. So I'm truly sorry. I'm trying to get my shit together. I had some videos planned for you guys, but they didn't work out. One of them was supposed to film yesterday with my hairdresser and last minute that got canceled and I need to reschedule. So uh, I hate making excuses. I need to do better. I will do better. I'm working on it, I promise. So that's not what I wanted to talk about in today's video. I wanted to talk about something that I have promised you guys for a very, very long time that I would do a video on, and that is a video on my top drugstore hair products. Now, this video I took a while to do for you guys because I just wanted to make sure that I tested every single product through and through so I can put the Nikki seal of approval on them and let you know with 100% certainty that these are awesome hair care products. And before I hop into the video, I quickly wanted to ask you guys to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you haven't already to make sure that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, let's just hop into the video. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna talk about is a product that I have actually been using for the last couple of years, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned it on my channel at least once or twice. It is the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey Shine Pomade. It looks like this. So basically what it is, it's just a pomade. It is very, very thick, so a tiny bit goes a super long way. But if you have a lot of baby hairs or flyaways that kind of stick out in all of these wonderful places, you take the tiniest amounts in between your fingers and you slick them down and it's as if they never existed. Another way that I really, really like using this product is to slick back my hair if I'm putting it into a sleek ponytail or a low bun or whatever it is. Anytime I just basically need to slick my hair down. I also really love that this is all natural. In fact, all of these products are mainly natural or 100% natural, which is awesome. I love high performance naturals, especially when they have a drugstore price tag. So if you guys are looking for something to slick down those baby hairs and really sleek your hair down, I'd highly recommend this product. Next, I wanna talk about a leave-in conditioner. I'm super, super picky with leave-in conditioners because a majority of the ones that I have tried, they have either left my hair too greasy or have left my hair too stiff and made it really difficult to style my hair afterwards. This product is great because it does neither one of those things. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. So this is what it oh crap. It is kind of milky, as you can tell. It's like leaking all over, and I'm gonna get it all over my bed right now, wonderful. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I don't wanna tip it anymore, otherwise it's gonna get all over the place. It smells really, really nice. It smells, smells kind of vanilla-y. Vanilla. You can really smell the shea butter in there. The reason why I like it so much is because it doesn't weigh down the hair. It's more of a thin consistency, so it doesn't make your hair stiff. And it does a really good job of conditioning your hair, in my opinion. And you need a really tiny amount with this stuff. I usually just concentrate it on the mids and the ends of my hair. The only negative thing I could say about it is the packaging. I prefer products like this that come in like a uh, bottle with a pump. This just kind of makes it a little bit too messy to apply in my opinion. But other than that, I really, really like this product. I like the ingredients in it and it's easy to use and it works. So that's a good leave-in conditioner. Next, I wanna talk about a brand. I'm pretty sure this is a new brand because I've never seen it before. I recently discovered this. It's called Beauty and Planet. This is what this product looks like. This is a product that I use in my hair after um, I shower. So I usually put a little bit of this followed by 
one to two pumps of this on just the ends and it says it's a coconut oil and ylang ylang blend it's a three-in-one benefit oil recovery for damaged hair so i think you can put it on your hair after you wash it you can also put it on your hair after you style it out of all the oils i've tried at the drugstore this is definitely my favorite the only qualm i would have to say about it is that it's a little bit too thick so you have to be a little careful with it and not go overboard so i would start with less and then add more as you need to i really like that it comes in a pump and then I recently read an article about this uh, brand and they said that all of their packaging is made from 100% recyclable plastic so if that is true that is amazing I also really like the ingredients in here it's not like a hundred percent a hundred percent pure and clean and whatever but it is it is fairly natural it is mostly natural let's just put it that way and it's a drugstore product so I think that's pretty good. By the way, guys, everything that I'm going to be talking about in today's video will be linked down below. So you don't have to go hunting for them. You can just open up the description box and check them out from there. Speaking of beauty and planet, I found these single um, like packets of hair mask. I'm not sure if this, ooh, this one already has hair mask all over it. Why am I such a savage so i'm not sure if this comes in a tub because i didn't see the tub but this is the love beauty and planet M muru muru butter muru 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 butter and rose blooming strength and shine two minute magic mask who comes up with these names i would like to know so this is meant to add vibrancy for color treated hair me thank you very much um, again, the ingredients in here are really good. I have used this two times. I bought, I think, three packets total. I don't remember, like three or four packets. So I've used it two times. I personally really like it. My hair definitely felt silky, soft, and shiny after I used it. I'm just not so crazy about the scent. Maybe it's because I'm not such a rose scent person. If it's a really, really strong rose scent, it kind of turns me off. But if you guys love the scent of rose, I'd highly recommend this because it does really do a good job of conditioning your hair and making it feel nice and soft. Speaking of hair masks, this next product that I'm gonna share with you may be my new favorite hair mask of all time. I've been raving for months, if not more than a year, about the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. I still love that hair mask. I think out of all of the high-end uh, hair masks that are available on the market, that is probably the best one that I have tried that's suitable for all hair types. But if you're looking for a drugstore dupe, you have to. Like, it's not even an option. You have to try this I almost, I almost dropped it. Good job, Nikki. You have to try this one. This is by Maui Moisture. It's the Strength and Anti-Breakage Plus Agave Hair Mask for Chemically Damaged Hair. I don't know what is in here. Oh, it smells like heaven. I don't know what heaven smells like, but if it did have a scent, I would imagine it to smell like this. As you can see, I've been obsessed with it. This has been the only hair mask I have been using consistently every single week for the last two months. It's not only the smell that's intoxicating, but the consistency of this is amazing. It leaves my hair feeling so soft and silky and smooth, and it leaves your hair smelling like this for days. I wish they had a perfume that smelled like this. Even my husband loves this and my husband is the most sensitive person in the world to scents. I cannot even put on self tanner without him smelling it from a mile away. I'm super picky with my perfumes. I have maybe four or five perfumes that I rotate between because he doesn't he doesn't even like all of them he only likes maybe one or two of them and every time i put this hair mask in my hair he always compliments me and tells me that it smells amazing so that says a lot so if you guys are looking for an incredible drugstore hair mask that is specifically targeted for damaged hair or colored hair and you're looking for just overall strength and manageability and you want your hair to feel softer and shiny and all of that amazing good stuff Maui moisture. You have to check this out. And again, this is the one for chemically damaged hair, the agave one. And it's also anti-breakage. Is it anti-breakage? Yes. 
anti-breakage for the win. All right, I have one more drugstore product that I cannot not mention, and it is this dry shampoo by Clorane. Clorane is probably one of the only other brands that I know does this aside from Briogeo. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this on my channel before, but I've been doing a lot of research on dry shampoos and apparently the ones that come in the aerosol can are really bad for your health. There's like propane in them and it's really bad for your lungs and blah, blah, blah. Seriously, soon everything is gonna be bad for your health. But anyways, you guys know that I'm very health conscious. So anytime that I learn about something new, I die to share it with you guys. So I wanted to share with you guys this dry shampoo. I've been using it for a while. I did partner up with Clorane a couple months ago on an Instagram collaboration. So thanks to that, I discovered this dry shampoo and I'm already on my second or third bottle because I love it that much. So this is the dupe to the Briogeo one. The Briogeo one is also amazing, but if you're looking for a cheaper drugstore alternative, I'd highly recommend Clorane. So this is just a simple dry shampoo with oat milk and it's for all hair types. And basically to get it out of the bottle, you squeeze the sides of it. I don't wanna do it too much now because I'm wearing black and it's gonna get all over my dress. Like I typically get everything, but you basically just squeeze it like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it disperses the powder into your hair and it has no white cast as long as you use it properly. You wanna keep it at a distance and you wanna spray a little bit at a time. Honestly, it's amazing. And it has this twist cap so you can close it very easily. It's easy to travel with. It's much easier to travel with this versus an aerosol can. So, that's another great thing about it, and I've just been loving it. So that's it, guys. Those are all the hair care drugstore products that I have been loving lately and that I really thought were worth sharing with you guys. I really hope that this helped you out and will kind of help guide you in the right direction next time you're looking for something specific for your hair at the drugstore. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. It's so nice to have you. If you enjoy this video, it means so much to me if you subscribe. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.